friends welcome back once again to vage academy of mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for cat mat and other management exams so once again we have got another interesting question from the topic progressions let's get into the question find the sum of all the numbers from 300 to 500 that leaves a remainder 7 when divided by 11 so very interesting question so we are asked to find the sum of all the numbers from 300 to 500 but there have a condition we are posted a condition there what is the condition is that number when it is divided by 11 it should leave a remainder 7 so in such a way we have to collect numbers from 300 to 500 in this range and we have to get the sum of all those numbers this is what we are asked to find in this question yes okay and so our range is to be 300 to 500 so in this range only we have to take the numbers but we have a condition when we take that number if we divide it by 11 the remainder should be 7 this is the condition and how can we find it or how can we get the very first number that is there between 300 and 500 which will satisfy this condition how can we do this it is going to be very easy okay so we are going to achieve it just by the method of division okay so if we try to divide itself that itself will give us a very clear idea about the remainder and that will help us to get what values and all will satisfy this particular condition yes we'll do that now so i'm going to start from this 300 itself now i'm going to search a number that is when divided by 11 it should leave a remainder 7 okay all right so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with 300 itself i'm going to divide 300 by 11 so how many times can we divide this that we will think we can go up to 11 twos are 22 and balance will be 8 so take the 0 and once again 11 sevens are 77 we can go up to this so this will be giving a remainder 3 fine okay so when we try to divide 300 by 11 when we try to divide 300 by 11 the remainder we are getting is 3 this is what we are getting but we have to get a remainder 7 and the number should be just more than 300 so what we can do here is we can do a very slight operation by dividing 300 by 11 we got the remainder as 3 but what remainder we need we are we are we are need we need a number that is when divided by 11 we need the remainder 7 right so remainder 7 we need so just to see how much it is more okay so when divided by 300 our, our remainder was 3 so from this 3 our remainder what we require it is just 4 more right now do the same thing for our number also 300 okay if i just do 3 plus 4 i will get the 7 and let's do the same thing here for our number also 300 plus 4 it will be 304 and sure try to divide this 304 by 11 you will definitely get the remainder as 7 only yes okay if you want to check it yeah sure you can do it i will even just try verifying it to you okay so 304 i will try to divide it by 11 and show you so once again i can go for 3 11 twos are 22 and balance is 84 and now i can go up to 11 sevens are 77 and if you subtract 84 minus 77 you will get the remainder as 7 that's it okay so this is how we can verify it so now we are very sure about what number is that our number is 304 okay yes so that means our number that range is going to start from 304 so 304 is the first number and what will be the next number so 304 we got so after all these calculations we got the first number 304 and what will be the next number i mean that comes next to 304 and that will satisfy the same condition what condition it is when divided by 11 the remainder should be 7 this condition it is going to be quite easy so we got our first number 304 right just to do 11 more i mean just do plus 11 here so we get the next number that will be 315 okay fine with this so i'm just going uh, going to draw a line because i'm going to verify the calculation that's it okay so 304 is here next number will be 315 and what will be the very next number the next number will be plus 11 from there so 326 and the list will be going like this and if you want to find what will be the last number that will satisfy this condition so our number will be just less than 500 is it or not so it will be just less than 500 so i'm going to take the calculation i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to take 500 and i'm going to divide it by 11 let's see what happens we can go up to 11 fours are 44 and balance will be 660 and we can go up to 11 fives are 55 is it or not so our balance will be 5 yes 
so that means that means when we try to divide 500 by 11 our remainder was 5 yeah okay i'll note it here so 500 by 11 the remainder we got it to be 5 let's do the same technique what we did here okay so now we can be very sure if i want to get the remainder 7 from this 5 i have to move two numbers plus i mean plus okay so if i do it i will be getting 500 plus 2 i will be getting 502 so 502 by 11 if i try to do 502 by 11 my remainder will be sure for sure it will be 7 but what a number we want what number we want we want a number which is just less than 500 because in our question itself it is very clearly given that numbers they should be of the range from 300 to 500 correct okay but we are getting 502 to be a number which is just more than 500 so all we need to do now is in order to get a number which is just less than 500 and that satisfies the same condition just like a minus 11 from here 502 minus 11 if i do i will be getting 491 is it or not and no doubt there 491 will be the last number that will satisfy this condition now we got a very clear idea about what numbers are all will be there satisfying this condition okay so first number is 304 second number 315 326 and so on up to 491 this is going to be all the numbers this list is going to be this this sequence of numbers are what they are going to be the collection of numbers are what going to be all possible numbers that when divided by 11 will give the remainder to be 7 and also which is of the range 300 to 500 as given in the question now all we need to do is we are asked to find what is the sum of all these numbers is it clear we are asked to find the sum of all these numbers so that means sum is equal to we need to add up all these numbers so 304 plus 315 plus 326 plus and so on up to the last term is 491 and what do you visualize here it is clearly an arithmetic progression here is it or not so our sequence of numbers if you see they are very clearly it is an arithmetic progression so our a value is the first term 304 and what about d d is the number which is getting added successively so it is nothing but 11 so d is equal to 11 and what about the last term here tn tn i mean the nth term last term is going to be 491 so all we need to do now is we need to find the sum of the terms of this arithmetic progression this is what we need but what else we need here in order to find the sum we need to know how many terms are here is it or not that we need right so how many terms are here we need to find it out so in order to find the number of terms we can quickly use the tn formula okay let me write the tn formula here so tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d i'll, I'll use this formula so if we try to do with you will be getting 491 is it or not 491 let me use it let me write it here okay so i'll write the right hand side here so i will have 304 so 304 plus n minus 1 into n minus 1 into what about d d is 11 this is what is equal to the last term i mean the nth term 491 so now i will do 11 times of n minus 1 is equal to 491 minus 304 let's divide let's just do 491 minus 304 when you try to minus it you will be getting uh, 187 is it or not you will get 187 so that means 11 into n minus 1 will be 187 so n minus 1 will be 187 by 11 so divide 187 by 11 so that will give you 17 so n is equal to 17 plus 1 you do you will get n is equal to 18 so that means you now got how many terms are there now we have to find sn so what formula shall we use here sn is equal to now we can use the second formula because we have a clear idea about what is the first term and what is the last term right so that means we can use the second formula that says n by 2 into a plus tn okay yes so now we have all the values here so that means sn is equal to so n is 18 for us so 18 by 2 into what about a a is 304 for us plus last term is 491 for us so now when we try to do this calculation we will be getting 18 by 2 first of all you can cancel this 9 times so 9 into just add 304 plus 491 this will give you 300 and 400 that will be 700 4 and 91 will be 95 so our answer will be 9 into 795 right okay so this multiplication will definitely give you the answer so how can we perform this calculation let me use a very easy trick so 9 into i will do it like 800 minus 5 this will be quite easy right because 800 minus 5 minus 5 will be 795 so this will be better uh, better approach for us to get the answer so 9 8 are 7200 minus this will be 9 fives are 45 so that our answer will be 7155 so answer 
or sum of all these terms from 300 to 500 that when divided by 11 leaving a remainder 7 the answer is going to be 7155 and that answer that answer is available in option a itself so here it is so our correct answer is in option a 7155 so you can check it here yes okay so yes this is all about this problem so a very interesting question from arithmetic progression so without directly giving that it is an arithmetic progression with some clues we are asked to find the sum of the terms of an ap so such an interesting question it is i hope you are able to follow it and also you are able to understand the way the approach we solved it okay yes fine and if you like the session if you find this video to be useful please give a like and also please share it to your friends also and kindly do subscribe our channel for more such videos then again see you soon there in other session the next session with some other interesting problem see you soon there thank you so much